Humans are dependent on each other for survival. All over the world, interaction with different human beings is what keeps us intact with other cultures. However, one culture prefers to be locked away from all the other people in the world. These are the most isolated people in the world, known as the Sentinelese. These indigenous people inhabit North Sentinel Island in the Bay of Bengal in the northeastern Indian Ocean. It is a strictly tribal group belonging to the class of Andamanese people. In 1956, the government of India declared North Sentinel Island a tribal Reserve and prohibited travel within three nautical miles of it. Furthermore, this island maintains a constant armed patrol to prevent intrusions by outsiders. No strict census has been conducted for the Sentinelese tribe, and the population has been estimated to be as low as 15 or as high as 500. The most accurate figures have told that they are present in numbers 50 to 200. The census of 1971 estimated the population to be around 82, whereas in the 1981 census stated that their number was at 100. 1986 was when their highest count came up that was 98. During circumnavigation in 2014, researchers recorded that there were six females and seven males who were apparently under the age of 40, whereas there were three children who were younger than four years old. According to a handbook released in 2016 by the Anthropological Survey of India on vulnerable tribe groups, estimates the population of this tribe to be between 100 and 150. The island on which people are present is surrounded by a coral reef while boasting a tropical climate. In 1977, geographer Heinrich Rich Herrer described a man from this island as having a height of 5 foot 3 inches, possibly due to poor nutrition or genetic heritage. The most common explanation behind this short stature could be insular dwarfism. They showed no sign of obesity and had prominent muscles. They are known to engage in agriculture, where both sexes wear bark strings and men tuck daggers into their waist belts. Although they wear some ornaments such as necklaces and headbands, they are essentially naked. Nothing is known about their language due to their isolation from the outside world, which is why the language is termed as unclassified. It is recorded that the Drawa language is mutually unintelligible from the Sentinelese language. Their usual habitat includes small huts erected on four poles from each corner with slanted leaf-covered roofs. People from this tribe are commonly hunters and gatherers. They use bows and arrows to hunt terrestrial wildlife and more rudimentary methods to catch local seafood such as mud crabs and moleskin shells. They also scavenge metals to create tools and weapons and accepted aluminum cookware left by the National Geographic Society in 1974. Canoes are for lagoon fishing, but long poles propel them instead of paddles. Unlike other tribes, the Sentinelese appear to have refused any interaction with the outside world. They have a sense of hostility towards outsiders and have killed people who approach or landed on the island. The first peaceful contact with them was made by Trilokanth Pandit, a director of the Anthropological Survey of India, and his colleagues in 1981. Pandit and his team discovered raw honey, skeletal remains of pigs, wild fruits, an adze, and multi-pronged wooden spear, bows, arrows, cane, baskets, fishing nets, bamboo pots, and wooden buckets. The tribe's work on metal was evident, and their hard work was impressive. Nonetheless, the team failed to establish a contract and withdrew their approach after leaving gifts. The highly introverted nature of this tribe is what makes it so unique for researchers. In such a progressing world, a group of people would rather stay in their comfort zone rather than interact with the foreigner. Those who do cross their path meet a deadly consequence.